who's out to play Ra and Smite too. Ra is an ability-based god who scales mainly off of intelligence and has some pretty great sustain in his kit. Now, Ra is a character that I like to describe as a niche character. Some people absolutely love him, and a lot of people don't like him and are just not good with him. And unfortunately, I fall in that group of people that are not good with him. I, I don't have that flair to play Ra. I don't know what it is about him, but I am just not good with him. But that doesn't mean I can't help explain how he works. So let's dive on into his abilities. Ra's passive is Speed of Light. After using an ability, Ra gains movement speed, and this stacks up to three times. The first ability you want to unlock for Ra is his 2, his Divine Light. This is different from Smite 1, because his ability has a few extra features. The base ability is still very similar to Smite 1, where you basically create a flare around you, slowing and blinding enemies that are looking at you, as well as dealing damage. But the change to this ability is to your autos once this ability has finished casting. Once it's finished, your basic attacks now fire Solar Rays, and this deals extra magical damage as well as passing through minions. Ra's first ability is Celestial Beam. Ra sends forth a beam of light dealing a large amount of damage to enemy gods and minions. Ra's third ability is Solar Blessing. It creates a circle on the ground that deals tick damage to enemy gods and heals allies and minions that are inside it. Ra's ultimate is Searing Pain. Ra charges up his ult for a quick second, becoming CC immune, firing a massive beam of damage down lane. And this ability has honestly an extremely far range. In my opinion, Ra is best played in the solo lane. That's where I see him putting in the most work. You can play him just fine in the mid, but he really thrives in the solo lane. Now the build I'm about to give you is not of my own creation. Uh, as I said before, I am not good with Ra, so this is what I got from other players and people that have absolutely bested me playing Ra. The first two items are the most important ones. You want to go Blue Stone Pendant, Shield of the Phoenix, and then after that you can change it up a little bit, but good items are Genji's Guard, Kronos Pendant, Gladiator Shield, Shogun's and Pharaoh's Curse. I like to go Blink always, but I have seen people use Sunder and Shell as well. If you haven't played Rock, go ahead and give him a try and see if you have what it takes to become a savage with him.